How's it going, everyone? Mega Mashers here. Woo! I'm feeling a lot better. My neck is still a little bit fucked up, but that's okay. Nothing is going to get in my way of going over this amazing Pokemon for today's Pokemon review, known as Embor. Embor has got to be one of the coolest designed Pokemon ever. It's a fucking fiery pig that reminds me of Ganon from the Legend of Zelda series, if you guys aren't yet familiar with it. But if you are, you will get the reference because this thing looks kind of like Ganon, except now we're talking about Pokemon. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to the analysis part of this video. So get a good look at it. Here is Embor. And I gotta say that Embor is one of my top 5 favorite Pokemon of the Unova region, which I will be making a video for in the near future. So the typing that gets. Fire and fighting. Okay, Game Freak. I think we're getting a little bit carried away with the fire fighting typing. I mean, it was very awesome with Blaziken. It was cool with Infernape because it was able to make it work, but now, now we're just getting ridiculous. Not that it's a bad type combination. Please don't attack me for saying that. It is not a bad type combination whatsoever. It's just, I was kind of expecting for it to be like a fire and dark typing because it kind of has a bit of a dark look to it. But we just got to work with what we're given and Embor knows how to make it work. So the type combination of fire and fighting, although you are weak to the likes of flying, ground, water, and psychic, you four times resist bug and you resist steel, fire, grass, ice, and dark. Which is all very, very awesome. Now let's just take a look at the abilities here. Okay, so it gets Blaze. Blaze being a pretty standard ability amongst Firestarter in every single region. Now what Blaze does is when you're knocked down to a third of your health, your fire type moves get a 50% boost in the power, which can make the difference in battle. But, ho ho ho, looky here, looky here, baby. Take a look at its hidden ability, Reckless. What Reckless does is it boosts the power of moves that cause recoil damage to yourself by 20%. That means moves like Flare Blitz, Head Smash, Wild Charge, Double Edge, they get an awesome boost and it just hurts that much more. And take a look at this. Speaking of hurting, look at this. Let's take a look at the stats. So it has 110 on the HP. That's very nice. And that 123 attack, oh man. That is where the pain comes in. This thing can run Choice Scarf, Choice Banded. Either way, when this thing attacks you, you're going to have basically strips made from chicken torn right out of your hide. Because this thing is just, it's on a rampage. So, it has 65 on the defense, special defense, and the speed. So, its speed really isn't that good. But you know what? That's not that bad because there are ways of boosting your speed such as the use of Flame Charge or using a Choice Scarf. And that special attack isn't something to shrug off either. Base 100, that is a very sexy number. And this definitely can make it work. So, with that being said, allow me to introduce you to a murderous set that I have for you. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can just see it now. I can see all the blood and gore that this Pokemon is going to cause in battle. Just completely dismantling teams, just coming in like a nuke, BAM! Coming in like a nuke, BAM! Coming in like a nuke, BAM! So on and so forth, you get the idea. This thing is a fucking monster. And this is exactly how it does the work. The item for choice for Embor, you can go with Choice Scarf or Choice Band. There is literally nothing wrong with either of these choices. Choice Scarf locks you into one move and boost your speed by one stage. Choice Band locks you into one move and boosts your attack by one stage. Either or, you're getting equally good benefits in different ways. A speed boost or a power boost. Either way, something's going down, son. And the ability, we will be going with Reckless in this situation due to the fact that we have, let's see, one, two, three moves that benefit from the Reckless boost, which means more power, which means more pain. Woo! As for the EV spread, we got 252 into attack, 4 into defense, 252 into speed, and we will be going with a jolly nature in this situation to boost your speed and lower your special attack because we will not be needing your special attack in this situation. Now the first move, allow me to introduce you to the bringer of pain, Blair Blitz. A solid base 120 power 
fire type move that hits on the physical side and guess what because of the fact that it ca causes recoil for you it gets that reckless boost and if you equipped it with a choice band oh man oh shit there's gonna be a lot of pain being dished out and if that isn't enough take a look at the next move we got super power and super power although it does not cause recoil and get the reckless boost Fire and fighting type coverage is fucking awesome. There are very little switch-ins to this thing. This will completely ruin anything that happens to be weak to fighting type moves. And especially with a choice band boost? Fuck, man. Holy shit, that's awesome. And you know what else is awesome? The next move choice. We got Wild Charge. It's a, a very powerful electric 90 base power move. That gets that reckless boost thanks to the fact that it causes recoil damage, which means more power, and you'll be able to take down them bulky ass water type Pokemon that would otherwise cause you problems, such as Alamomo. Oh fuck, I'm not even gonna pronounce it right. <coughs> but of course, because of the fact that this thing is weak to psychic, this thing, thanks to sixth generation, gets sucker punch. Bam, bam, bam! Sucker Punch! Sucker Punch allows for you to outpace any fast psychic type Pokemon and lay the smackdown on him with a Sucker Punch right to the dome. Because it's a dark type move, because of the fact it could be a potentially choice band boosted, you will be causing a lot of psychic type Pokemon a lot of pain. Not to mention a lot of ghost type Pokemon a lot of pain too. And lastly, we got Head Smash. Head Smash. It is a dangerous move that causes a ton of recoil damage for you. But guess what? If you hit someone with Head Smash and it happens to be a super effective hit with the Reckless Boost and a potential Choice Band Boost, they're going down. They're 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 going down. They're oh my god, they're going down. But of course, if that doesn't appeal to you, we do have Sucker Punch. Now, I will say, please do not use Sucker Punch twice. Do not. There's no need for you to take up two move slots with Sucker Punch. Plus, I don't think that's legal either. Basically, here's what I'm trying to say. For Wild Charge, if you choose Wild Charge, then you have the ability to choose Head Smash, Sucker Punch, sorry, as your last move slot, or vice versa. If you choose Sucker Punch over Wild Charge, then you got Head Smash. Man, oh man, I have tried this set out, and Reckless Embor is a fucking maniac. But you know something else? I got another set idea for you, and it utilizes that very awesome and very respectable base 100 special attack, so please stay tuned, and I'll be right back! So this next set that I present to you also presents you with a advantage by default. That being the surprise factor, because there are going to be a ton of people that do not ever expect a special Embor until they see one slapped in the face, and they're going to be thinking, oh, what the fuck do I do now? So... The items for choice for Embor, you can go with Choice Specs to lock you into one move and boost your special attack by 50%. You can go with Assault Vest to lock you into attacking moves only and boost your special defense by 50%. Or, we got Life Orb to give you a 30% boost in the power of your moves at the cost of 10% of your health. All these items, very awesome, very crisp, very good choices. As for the ability, we'll be going with Blaze this time instead of Reckless because, as you see here... There are no moves that cause recoil damage, so Reckless is a waste. We need to go with Blaze instead. As for the EV spread, we got 252 going into Special Attack, 4 into Special Defense, and 252 into Speed. And we'll go with the Timid Nature to further boost your speed and lower your attack. The first move, Fire Blast. Fire Blast scorches anything and everything that doesn't resist it. Fire Blast is a painful Fire-type move. Base 110 Special Attack. And not to mention, with an 85% accuracy, yeah, it does have a chance to miss, but this is actually pretty good for it being a very powerful move. Because you see a lot of powerful moves, such as Hydro Pump, Focus Blast, Thunder, Hurricane, all of which have rather subpar accuracy. But for Fire Blast, 85%, that's actually good. The next move that we have, Focus Blast. When this thing doesn't miss eight times in a row in battle, this move hurts it's base 120 power 70 percent accuracy it's a special fighting type move so is stab and with choice specs potentially boosting it with life War potentially boosting it it's gonna hurt 
And you know something else that is going to hurt them bulky-ass water types? Grass Knot being its third move. It's a grass special move. And this, along with fighting and fire type coverage, there's going to be very little switch-ins. Grass Knot will damage your opponents according to how heavy they are. And trust me, with a lot of them heavy, fat-ass water type Pokemon, they're going to be taking a lot of damage from Grass Knot. And speaking of water types... Can someone please explain to me how the fuck Embor learns Scald? It is a water type move, base 80 power with a 30% chance to burn. Oh wait a minute, I can I can kind of see why it can learn Scald because of the fact that it's shooting boiling water, and well, Embor has a boiling mad temper, it's a fire type, and it's ready to kill and eat you alive. And not to mention, water plus grass plus fighting plus fire awesome coverage uh, it's so colorful i love it Woo! colors of the rainbow baby so that's basically all i have to say about this set it's special it's awesome i've never actually tried this set before but i will give you my word before using it this set is awesome because of the fact that again it adds that factor of unpredictability which can be a huge advantage for you in battles so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this video on the reviewing of Embor. Embor, fucking awesome. And this Pokemon is an absolute terror in the rarely used here. So if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to leave a like and even share this video to all of your friends. Get the word out there that I am pumping out epic content all day, every day, baby. Woo! If you want to see more videos like the one that you just saw, then hit that subscribe button. Join the Mega Express today. Be a valued passenger on this wild and epic ride through the Pokemon world. Also, be sure to leave me your feedback in the comment section down below about this video. Tell me what you liked about it, tell me what you didn't like about it, tell me if there's something I missed. And finally, don't ever be afraid, okay? Do not ever be afraid to leave any requests on what you would like to see in the near future on this Epic as Fuck channel. And finally, be sure to check out Poketown, Cat's Epic Pokemon Cloning Group, Pokemon Central, and Pokemon Destination Valley for their all amazing groups on Facebook that I'll leave links to in the description box down below. But you want to know so, so, another group that is also amazing? Well, I invite you to the Madhouse, baby! Open house all day, every day. I urge you to join Mega's Madhouse. I will leave a link to that group in the description box down below. So have a nice day. I shall see you guys next upload. Woo! I'm going to sleep now.